Hello, Leo. This is your Mercury in Retrograde reading. If you ever watched me before during this time, I do give them. It's about the time when Mercury kind of appears to be going backwards, but it's not really going backwards, just the energy is. So I'm going to sit there and try to get these cards out probably late tonight. But this is a uh, reading for Leo, Mercury in Retrograde, March 2018. Leo. Energies coming towards Leo, Mercury in retrograde, March 2018, Leo, Mercury in retrograde, Leo, that's your own sign, put that up there, how you been doing, get this out, see what's going on, you know, Hopefully things are going well. Strength. You got strength. You got the sun. All your all yours, you know. I'm gonna put that right there for now. No collaboration in the past. Maybe a little bit of fighting somewhere down the line. You got strength as your overall energy, so you are strong. Now, in the past, coming up to Mercury in retrograde, from the past on, we have the Three of Pentacles. And it's in reverse, and it uh, means lack of collaboration in the past. So why is the Three of Pentacles in the past? Why is the Three of Pentacles in the past? See, King of Wands, that's also your energy. It's in reverse. So, no collaboration in the past. I'm hoping you can see some of these. I'm trying to squish them together. I got a new camera and it's not working out very well. But I want to get these out before Mercury and retrograde actually hits and get you prepared. And when it hits, usually it's communications, travel, contracts, relationships. You know it. They go haywire. They always say it's a good thing not to sit there and, uh, do these things during that time or make new contracts, uh, try to do a, a new relationship, watch out for old ones coming back, all kind of stuff. But right here we got, uh, like I said, the Three of Pentacles is in reverse and you got the King of Wands and it's attached to it and it's reversed. And that's our, you know, Leo's energy. I'm a Leo also. And it's in reverse and, and what it is when a Leo gets reversed, you know, no one's happy. When Leo's not happy, nobody's happy. When it comes to a collaboration and they're trying to get things together and it doesn't seem to be working out for them and it's getting kind of turned around. They're getting kind of losing patience with it. Now, as an obstacle, you got the uh, Five of Swords and that could be a whole lot of things. That's usually uh, possibly an argument. It's, it's competition. It's fighting. It's fighting for what you want. And you're having trouble obtaining it, apparently, because it's an obstacle. Now, let's find out why it's an obstacle. Why, why is the Five of Swords the obstacle for Leo? Because you're trying to come out of feeling blocked. We already know that. So you're trying to make choices, and you're trying to feel, come, you're trying to uh, come out from feeling chained. To a situation you're fighting for it and you're trying to uh, make your decisions you you actually made your decision and you're trying to you, you may feel blocked and you're trying to get out of that and you're trying to get out of that chain situation whatever it is whether it's a relationship finances whatever now the current environment you got the knight of disc now this could be your energy you know it doesn't it's usually an earth energy uh, you know, that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it could be your energy as in you're in the upright, you're, you're, you're stable, you're sound, um, and you're trying to do things the best you can. And it's kind of a slow energy too, so things are going kind of slow for you. Another possibility, because this is coming towards you also, like I said, is that the, the it could be that uh, you got like a, the earth energy coming towards you at this current time. Now let's find out what it is. So the obstacle is, you know, 
what I told you is the Five of Swords, but right as current environment, you know what you're doing. Or like I said, it could be someone coming towards you. Let's see what it is. Got a victory there. Got a victory at this present time. Maybe we just don't see it, huh? I don't see no victory right now, but uh, I'm hoping for it. But that's a victory at this present time, or maybe at the present time with Dora Mercury in retrograde. I forgot. We're, we're reading for uh, Mercury in retrograde. So coming towards us at that current time during Mercury in retrograde is an Earth energy, and there's victory with it. I'll get this right. Now we had the Queen of Swords and as an outside energy, out, out, totally outside energy, and they're, they're kind of coming in. They're kind of manipulating the situation somewhat, not necessarily in a bad way, but with the Queen of Swords reverse, it could be very much in a, a negative way. The Queen of Swords reverse is not someone who is easy to get along with, and she's cutting with her words, or he is cutting, very cutting with her words, and uh, they're not the, uh, the most nicest of people. Um, and there are, uh, there are elements, so, you know, that's coming in for sure. Let me see. Queen of Swords, why are you there? Because someone, uh, in the outside environment is not making us an offer, but for some reason we're going to get a victory at that time. Leo's, I gotta say, stop saying we, but I can't help it. There's a, there's a victory we have, but even though someone's not offering that cup, now, at the end there, we got the High Priestess, and she's in reverse. Why is she in reverse? High Priestess is in reverse. Why is she in reverse? The Star card. And it's in reverse also. So the High Priestess reverse is someone whose intuition is off of what they are wanting because... The star card is about wishes and wanting and, you know, wishing upon a star almost. It's, and, um, it's hope. And so we may feel, Leos may feel, without hope towards the end here, even though they're gaining the victory. Maybe they're not seeing that victory. Because the High Priestess uh, reverse is about secrets, mystery, intuition. So maybe we're just not seeing what's out there and we feel like, you know, Someone's not telling us everything. Someone's not telling Leo everything. So you got the sun card here, reverse, and it's a good card, even reversed. So what I'm thinking it is that something is coming in, it's good, but we don't see it just yet. During Mercury and retrograde, we're getting a victory. We're just not feeling it possibly during the uh, Mercury and retrograde. And maybe some of them contracts do need to, you know, wait because if it happens during Mercury and retrograde, say it's a contract, like I said, a relationship, a lot of times it don't work out if it starts during Mercury and retrograde. So maybe we're getting that victory, but maybe we're going to wait to get it until after Mercury and retrograde. We, I said it again, didn't I? I can't help it. I group us together. We're pride. And we're hanging around. Leo's hanging around still. They're hanging around waiting for that victory, and they're going to get it. It's just that, that it's not being offered at that time during Mercury and retrograde. So this is basically your reading. I think I got everything. If you have any questions, email me. If you have any comments, put them in the comments. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.